Hi, I'm Albert Apache, Open Source Health Defense, Fitness and Grappling, and I just wanted to take a moment to respond to a video that I recently watched. Um, it was uh, by Gracie Breakdown, and it featured Henner Gracie. Now, uh, full disclosure, um, I really like a lot of the material on Gracie Breakdown. Um, I think that they put out excellent technique videos. Um, I don't always agree with uh, some of the philosophy when it goes outside and beyond uh, self-defense and techniques. Um, so there you have it. Further, in the spirit of full disclosure, I do uh, do ride sharing um, as a driver. So therefore, um, maybe I am biased in my opinion of the video. The video was basically um, by Henner about an Uber driver that tried to jack his iPhone. Now, initially when I watched this video, um, I, I did take some uh, offense to it in the sense that uh, this is the second time I've seen uh, a Gracie breakdown video where Henner references um, Uber and he paints them in a negative light. Uh, he, you know, and so it d does make me question uh, what his, um, what his, uh, you know, if there's anything else going on behind the scenes that he doesn't care for Uber, the philosophy, the idea, or maybe you know, as a business, I really don't know. Um, but beyond that, I, I really am hoping uh, to use this as an illustration um, more of what not to do. So if you have the chance, you might want to go check out the video. Um, and it shows Henner and some of his buddies, uh, basically some professional fighters, actually. They actually track the guy down using the, you know, iPhone locator and they track the guy down and they approach them on their own. He's a stranger. They block him in and Henner approaches the vehicle. Now, I hope that Henner takes the time to go back and really think about this once the emotion is drained out of the situation um, and really look at what happened. I think that it's really an illustration of what not to do. And as you know, a notable figure in the self-defense industry, I really feel like he may want to do a video addressing it because of the fact that, you know, nobody's life or physical well-being is worth the few hundred dollars of an iPhone. And I think it's exactly what you don't want to do. It, you know, you don't want to track somebody down. You don't want to corner them. I could have envisioned this scenario ending in the very different way that would have ended very badly and very poorly. Um, and there was numerous, numerous ways it could have ended. And in all of those other ways, it wouldn't have been good news for Henner. It, he actually would have been found at probably fault um, legally and possibly criminally for instigating, you know, uh, the act. I think that and I think it's a good illustration how all of us, even somebody as well versed in self-defense um, that actually teaches uh, police uh, tactics, control tactics, that um, all of us sometimes uh, get caught up in the moment. We become, um, you know, mastered rather than mastering our fear or our, or our pride. And we just want what we want and we want it right now. Now, in that respect, um, I do feel like, you know, maybe uh, the answer is that for Henner, uh, with his bad experience with uh, ride sharing, is maybe he really needs to ride share for himself, um, do it as a driver. Maybe, maybe somebody could arrange for him to do a ride along with a driver. Uh, I don't think he really appreciates the... Um, the way that the money is made as a ride share driver okay and uh you know i just feel like you know this guy got you know sold down the road a little bit um i really don't think that you know it was a fair assessment um and you know i don't think people quite realize that you know giving me a ten dollar tip giving me a fifteen dollar tip that really doesn't account for the hour 
of my time as well as the gas and mileage and taking me away from an area that is paying me a premium rate to return your phone. It's at my discretion, right? It's at my convenience. It's not my fault that you lost your phone. It's not my fault that you dropped your phone. And in all honesty, um, Henner is actually very, very lucky that uh, the next ride after him was actually honest enough to give the phone to the driver. Uh, I've been contacted numerous times by people through the app asking me, do I have their wallet? Do I have this? Do I have that? And unfortunately for them, um, like nine times out of 10, I don't have it. I go back, I check the vehicle. I don't check the vehicle after every single ride. I, I look back there quickly when I start. I look back, I peek back when I get home. Sometimes I'm a little bit late and you know I wanna go to bed just like everybody else and so I don't check the vehicle right away. And so when I get that call, I go back out, I double check the vehicle and nine times out of 10, I don't have their property, okay? So, I hope everybody understands this is not a critique at all of jujitsu or of tactics um, that they teach the police officers or any technique or even of Henner personally. Okay, It is a critique of how he reacted in the moment, Okay, the actions that he took. And I think that if Henner were to remove himself from the situation and Put somebody else in that scenario, say a Joe Schmo like myself, right? A small time, um, you know, self-defense uh, coach that's that's just starting out or any other, uh, you know, self-defense guy or any other average Joe that was just out looking for his phone. I think Henner would advise him exactly the same way, which is, brother, it is not worth your life for a few hundred dollar iPhone, okay? And especially when you have the means to replace it, okay? We're given the cloud technology now, especially the way that iPhones work, I can't believe that any of the information in that iPhone wouldn't have been easily retrievable, okay? And I just feel like, you know, it really is an example of what not to do in a self-defense situation. Uh, if you've followed any of our stuff from Open Source Self Defense, you know that what we try to teach is survive and escape, and those are our priorities. And in this essence, I understand, or in this sense, in this instance, excuse me, I understand that your phone is your life in today's society. I understand that. That being said, you know, it can be part of your livelihood. It's not your life, right? It is your life but it's not your life, okay? It is replaceable, it is retrievable, the data is retrievable. And so um, I really feel like, you know, it's an example of what not to do. And I hope the rest of you all really understand that. Um, I don't think the Uber guy had it out uh, to steal this phone. I think he just was busy. Um, having watched the video myself, I, I just because, you know, people can look at, you know, if they left their phone in my car, they could see me drive back and forth past their location. That doesn't mean I'm trying to avoid them if I were to have their, their stuff. It just means maybe I have a ride. Maybe I'm chasing, um, you know, uh, a high, um, a high rate, um, you know, area or whatever the case may be. Uh, you know, it is ride sharing. Okay, which means that, you know, it's at my convenience. So, and, and I hope people understand that. Like, you know, it, I don't think this driver, you know, had, I, and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he did want to steal a phone. But either way, I don't think it was worth putting himself in any kind of danger or putting himself into a position that could be construed as him looking for trouble. Okay, I, I just don't think that was safe because most of us don't have the decades and decades of training on the mat that Henner has, right? And and the experience with law enforcement. So I really feel that, you know, it's an example of what not to do and, and I really just can't stress that enough. You survived, you know, you escaped the situation without any bodily harm, you know, replace the phone, you know, wait, see if the guy is gonna, gonna bring it by, right? That, that's just my opinion. But anyhow, guys, um, that's all I have. Uh, you know, again, please don't misconstrue this. I am not criticizing Henner uh, as far as technique, as far as jujitsu, as far as his knowledge. Um, 
I just think in this particular instance, uh, he handled it wrong in the situation, in the moment. I feel like it could have ended very, very badly and uh, probably not something that uh, the average person wants to do. All right, guys. Remember, be practical, be purposeful. Get fit with a purpose, guys.